Hi, I'm not wearing a hat. Welcome to episode 21. Whoa, I want to read that. As you can see, while everyone else is packing up for the summer, I'm adding things to my desk because I'm a crazy person. And because, you know, it lets me hide from my students. This week, I want to quickly nerd out about a book called Counting by Sevens that was recommended to me by uh, Miss Eisler and her crew in Pennsylvania. I really like this book. Counting by Sevens is about a girl named Willow Chance, who's really different from other kids. Now, after a terrible tragedy, Willow realizes that she can still accomplish her dreams through everything that makes her different. Wow, well, that sounds exactly like a different book I read. Yeah? Which one? Every book ever. Talk about cliches. I wrote a book once called The Unique Girl Who Realizes Her Dreams. I am Bianco. <sighs> Alright, let me try again. Counting by Sevens is about a girl named Willow Chance, seventh grade genius. Willow is really into medical conditions and plants. Plants? That sounds boring because plants are boring. I disagree. Plants are even more exciting than Mr. Wasco. <laughs> Good one, Bianco. <laughs> Thanks, Bianco. It's impossible to review this book without sounding super cheesy. You're never gonna make us want to read this book, doofus. Ugh. Okay, let me try again. Willow Chance is a genius. She's also suddenly alone after a tragedy leaves her without parents. Whoa. That poor girl. I'm crying on the inside. Right? So what is she supposed to do? She's super weird and doesn't have friends or family. Sometimes we don't realize just how important we are, despite how everything around us is crumbling apart. We're actually extremely important to other people in other situations, and they can't really survive without us. Willow, as weird as she is, and as much as she loves plants and medical conditions, suddenly realizes that maybe she's more loved than she thought she was. Okay, wow, you got me. I kind of want to read that now. Ha! In your face, Brenda! In your face! Read a book, Brenda! You read and write it! You read and write it! You write it! I got you to like the book. I got you to like the book. Now you like it, wanna read it. Now I did it, yes I did it. There's a side story I really like about this cab driver who gives Willow a ride one day. And after Willow checks over all his information, makes sure he's legit and, you know, a responsible cabbie, uh, she turns to him and she says, Never let someone tell you that you can't do it. Now this is more of a way for Willow to congratulate herself for taking public transportation for the first time. But the cabbie takes the advice to heart and then enrolls in community college. From this point on in the book, the cabbie considers Willow something of a guardian angel. And uh, they definitely see each other again. And that sounds creepy, but in a good way. I highly recommend this book for anyone who feels like they're different and anyone who feels like that maybe there's been a horrible tragedy in their life that's been keeping them down. So, everyone? Yeah, I recommend it to everyone. Well, I guess that's it. Because it's time to pack up for the summer. I wasn't really ready for this. Alright, guys. It's time to go. Wait, huh? Bosco, there's still like two weeks left of school. You're gonna make more episodes, man. You said it yourself. You're not done yet. Sorry. Why are you not packing <laughs> students? No! No! <laughs> Stop it! Why? <laughs> Bosco. Bosco, please. Take those break off. You don't Get know what there. you're saying. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Enjoy your summer. <laughs> you are now garbage. Now the sad footage of me taking all of the toys out of the box. I don't play with toys. Yes, I do. I don't know how my students get anything done in my class. If I had this class in this classroom and my goofy self as a teacher as a kid, I wouldn't be able to focus on anything. I'd be too busy looking at the toys. I mean, I'm like, oh, is that a skull and a globe? I want to play with a skull and a globe. And I'd have been like, touch me and lose that hand, dork. <laughs>